Jermaine reporting for the Pound for Pound Boxing Show at your call. I'm joined by the new Commonwealth champion, Masood Abdullah. Masood, a brilliant, brilliant victory today over Mark Leash. How are you, how are you feeling today after that? I mean, I feel okay. I'm happy I got a belt. It's been such a long time that I've been begging for a belt. And we've had so many opponents turn us down. My amateur coach just came down. Jerry, come down here. Come down here. This is the guy that... Kept on telling me to jab, and yeah, I didn't jab enough. So. <laughs> this is Jerry, one of, one of the first people that ever believed in me. Jerry, how do you rate his performance tonight? Very good, very good. Good pressure, press back. The only thing I'll, I'll, I'll criticize, sometimes you could use the jab more to get inside. Don't, don't, don't be waiting, going gong ho with the right hand. Don't be, no guess working. Yeah. Set him up, then drive him. And you could use the yeah. uppercut a bit more when he came with his head. Yeah. But it's a learning curve. Yeah. And well done. Thank you for coming down. Man. Okay, no worries. Anytime. Beautiful. Thank you. Uh, my missus will be happy for you. She loves, she loves you. Okay. Yeah, so obviously a fantastic win tonight, uh, winning your first title. Let's talk a bit about obviously, yeah, yeah. you've seen so many talks over the years about how many people have been avoiding you and how frustrating it's been and that you haven't been able to land a big fight like this. So, how does it feel? Obviously, demanding. Guys, 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 guys. Yeah. Yeah, how does it feel obviously getting in there with someone you, you look up to in, in, in terms of fighter, Mark Leash? I mean, it feels great. I mean, it's nothing like having your. You know, your idols be your rivals, I guess. So I feel good. I'm happy. I'm happy. I got in there and beat him up. That was it. Let's talk about how you started the fight. Well, I was watching. You, you came out like a like a train on fire, and like you was looking. Like, I thought you was looking to blast him out of there early. Uh, what was your tactics going into this fight? I just wanted to scare him. That was it. I wanted to come in, put him under pressure, not really do too much in terms of damage, damage, but I wanted him to go. Shit, I'm in. I'm in. in the fight. I'm in on the fight and. Plus, I wanted to see how his punch is tasted. You mentioned in a previous interview that obviously you took a bit of a blueprint from Liam Davis's victory of him. Is that something you looked looked into heading uh, into the fight? Kind of, kind of, but it's just I could I couldn't I couldn't pull off certain things because of because of my arm. But I did what I could in there, and I think I did the better job than Davis. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned obviously you thought uh, this was probably wasn't your toughest fight. What would you say was your toughest fight? Dwayne Martinez. That guy has a hard head I, and a hard body. I hit him to the body so many times and he just looked at me and smiled like a freak. But yeah. <laughs> Let's just talk about what's next. Obviously, now you are the Commonwealth champion. What is next? Obviously, there's a fighter called uh, Nathaniel mm -hmm. Collins who's come out and he's uh, been talking a bit of smack. And then obviously, he's fighting soon against uh, Zach Miller. Who do you want in that fight? Do you want? Do you think you come through and win that fight? And do you, who do you want? Who do you want to win that fight? Uh, I want. I want a fan. I think. I think Mark Leach was a harder fight than a fan of Collins. Uh, Mark Leach has definitely fought a bigger pedigree. He's a lot more skilled. He's way, way, way more experienced. And Nathaniel of Collins' best opponent has been James B. Junior, who again has been defeated a bunch of times. So I definitely want the easier fight, Nathaniel of Collins. Okay. So, if you were to fight like Daniel Collins, what happens in this fight? Let's see. Let's see and find out. I think I think I stop him, but let's see. Can't be too cocky. <laughs> yeah. I want to get Sonny. I want to get Sonny Warren in there. Sonny. Yeah. Sum up tonight's performance from Masood today, and how are you feeling? Do you know what? When Masood does what he needs to do, um, to be honest, I can see him just picking any third way out. There. I mean. His skill set second to none. I think the instructions from his corner was fantastic today. Um, he did get caught for a few, and to be honest, one of the actual um, Ariadne's told me about you was your concrete head, so I'm guessing it goes into play. So a big shout out for Ari about that. Um, but yeah, he went in and done what he had to do. And I can't take nothing away from him, to be honest. I mean, he, you always be critical yourself, but I think you've done a fantastic yeah. job, to be honest. I think, I think the reason why I'm critical is because I just want to improve. I've got a coach that, you know, you know wants me to advance super, uh, super fast. I believe in myself that I can advance super fast. And it's just about putting in the time and effort. And if I'm not critical, what the hell am I in the sport for? Yeah, just wanted to smile and enjoy the moment sometimes. But yeah, you know, listen, he's going to enjoy it tonight. He's gone through two camps. He's had so many pull-outs. He was supposed to fight February against, um, what was his name? Andre Graham. Andre Graham. And then also went for this amateur Hamzid. Yeah, basically uh, crap. Some, some, someone else <laughs> And then we had a few others. We had uh, Tanzania got beat. 
obviously over in the States for a WBC silver bar. So another thing I've really got to hats off to is Mark Leach. He's coming here and Mark Leach is just like, we're so, no one wants to fight them. And they both went, you know what? No one wants to fight us, let's go and fight each other. And for me, you've just seen what we're seeing. And I think everyone's going to see what you can do. What's next for Masood? For you, as a, obviously part of the management team, uh, what do you want next for him? What's the next move? Listen, he's got the Commonwealth silver. We'll try and make sure we can get a mandatory for the Commonwealth. We want the family Collins fight. He feels like he wants the family Collins fight. We've had a chat with Steve, his trainer. We know there's a few other heads that are on the list. So uh, let him enjoy the moment now. He's been through two camps. We'll come back in a week's time and we'll discuss where we're doing. Brilliant, guys. Three camps. Three camps, Wow, three camps. So, and I'm sure you're going to have a nice rest. What you got planned for? Celebrating tonight. Nothing. I'm gonna go sleep. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go sleep. <laughs> sleep. Got a nice little breakaway. Any vacation lined up? Nothing. Uh, I'm gonna take a week off from the gym, come back, and start training again. Oh, brilliant. Two weeks off. Guys, obviously fantastic win tonight. Congratulations here, and uh, looking forward to seeing you back out again, and uh, hopefully winning some more titles. Cheers, guys.